Today, we're talking about video. And if you're creating video, one of the things that you really need a good handle on is editing. And believe me, when I first started to look at editing software, I was confused, overwhelmed. It looked totally crazy. And I didn't know where to start. And that put me off for many years. So this is now a part of a series I'm running where I'm going to show you some lovely, simple editing techniques using a completely free editing software called DaVinci Resolve. This is DaVinci Resolve 17. Um, so I'm just going to be teaching you and guiding you through setting up projects, adding uh, your video clips to the timeline, and then some basic editing where you can actually clean up your clips, color correct. We can use the green screen. We obviously can't use the green screen right now because I've got a massive light shining from yonder window uh, that is uh, is not working. So first of all, then we need to open up uh, DaVinci Resolve. Perfect. Okay, so we have clicked on DaVinci Resolve, and this is what comes up. Uh, you want to a new project. So let's call, we've got an untitled project. Let's double click on that, and we can open up a new project. So we have an untitled project. So what we want to do is go and uh, show you what we have. So we have no media clips in the media pool. We have our timeline here. Uh, uh, and down at the bottom here, we have media, we have cut, we have uh, editing. Oh, I've, got a, I've got something just stuck in my window there. Move that there, that's cool. Um, we've got edit, uh, so we click on that. Uh, we've got fusion. Uh, we have color, we have far light, which is the music, um, and deliver, which is where we render our clips. So what we're going to do, we're going to be quite simple. We're going to stick in the edit because that's where we want to go. And first things are we want to put some clips in the media pool. Let's keep it as it is. So I have that. There is my clip. Now, first thing to notice, it goes into the media pool here. Um, so we can switch that off. No media pool. Click that, we have the media pool. So, and we have our clip in there. And when I hover over it, you can see that it is then showing up in this side of the uh, of the of the um, of the screen. Now, when I drop it into the timeline, now our timeline is down here. When I drop it into our timeline, two things you can see. You notice that A is now sitting in this screen. Um, but also it's split. So we have the video and the audio, but they are linked. So they are linked together. You can unlink them with that. We'll highlight them, sorry, first of all. So we highlight, we can unlink and link quite easily. But <clears throat> it's always a good idea. I always think, you know, when you're basic editing, keep them linked uh, for sure. Okay, so let's have a little tour of the uh, of the dashboard. So here's our media pool. So we can drop all media in. Um, we can have smart bins. So we can create a bin for our media. So we can add a folder or a smart bin and then sort them. And that's just a really cool way of keeping all our clips together. So we'll do a little bit of that later on or one of the future methods. Um, so we have a media pool. We have our effects as well. So we can click on effects. And so we have a whole toolbox of different effects. We have video transitions, audio transitions, titles. So we can go through all of those as our little episodes progress. We can talk through those. Crossfades uh, are very, very common. And across dissolves, blur dissolves. And here we can see, just as a very quick one. So here, this is like our preview window. So when we hover over, we can see a preview. Um, but that's our timeline window there. So don't get those too confused. And actually, in many cases, um, I would actually remove the preview um, element. Um, so we have effects there, uh, and then we have our indexes. So <clears throat> that's where we have our clips put in, so we can keep them. And we have a sound library as well, so we can search our sound library. That you have to download. When you first go into DaVinci Resolve, um, that will have that will be empty, and then you just go basically and and download the sound library as a separate file. So that's all cool. Um, so let's go back to our media pool. And actually, just a little bit here on the very top here, we've got a little screen, and that allows us to shrink things. So where we have our, so where we want to use our timeline, uh, we want a bit more control maybe to see a bit more. Then we can shrink that. We can still see our media pool. Um, we can still have our effects. 
and it just it's up to your personal preference as to how you actually want to, to have it on the media pool we've got the choice we can have the thumbnail and the description or we can just have the thumbnail so here's our thumbnail uh, and then here's our timeline so that's the timeline down there um, but we can have it um, again without the uh, without those and then we can search all our bins that's just a nice nice easy thing so you can com you can control all these different uh, different things and you can change um, what you have as well over on the left hand side um we've got the mixer so when i click on that that's going to show us on the left hand side so we've got our audio mixer we've only got one track so that's only got one element there um and then we have our metadata that's all the details of those files and this will be the thing that you use most and that is the inspector so here we have all the things so we've got the zooms we can position rotate um, we can do cropping we've got dynamic zoom we can change the speed so we can go forwards fast forwards slow motion go backwards all those different things so there's a whole ton of things we can do here uh, next things to have a little look at and show you are these little elements here so i say we're in edit and i think that's why we're going to stay most of the time so we want to that's our timeline so we can highlight that but yeah so that's our trim mode just so we can trim our timeline i don't often use that so much um the one i do use a lot is this one this is the blunt uh the blade sorry there you can see it's like a little razor blade when you hover it over over the uh, over the track and so at the beginning as you can see and hopefully you'll be able to hear this as well there's nothing until i talk and so we can take that bit off because I like to trim uh, and edit. So then we go the highlight button. So we can highlight after we've cut it and highlight before, a bit before. And here, right click or two fingers on your Mac. And we can just have a ripple delete, which will just delete it and then pulls everything along the timeline back. So one of the things I like to do is actually have a look at where I'm not talking. And I know pretty much that uh, that's a little bit of dead air and uh, we don't like dead air so i just go in highlight it and then ripple delete bang and that clips it so that's our blade and our highlighting tool and these are where we can overwrite insert clips the other one uh, really used a lot is the snapping tool so we can just what that does is is it snaps the clips together so if i wanted to add another clip as an example let's go grab another quick clip that what i'll do so that's added into our media bin here. Actually, I like to have that just on the just on the little thumbnail because I know which one's which. So I can bring that in, and so it snaps. So you can see where the cut was, and I can snap it to that cut. I hope you can see that. Okay, and that's where I'll drag that in. So that's gone video two so that's split again that's got the audio so then you've got multiple tracks so multiple layers and we'll come to that in a future episode because we're just going through the dashboard right now um so yeah yeah we've got the little flag so we can we can mark us in and out um we can zoom in and out and i use this tool a lot um because again when you're looking at the audio then we like to see where there's dead audio and uh, and we can cut there so you can go really granular and actually you can do it frame by frame so you can get really accurate uh, cutting and clipping um but if you've got big long clips then we can uh, we can we can do that now in this element here there's so many things you can you can change around i'm going to take the, these inspectors off so we've got more so i can show you more here we have the video one and so we can do uh, other little things here so we can lock a track we can select and we can disable the video track all those things really cool things and up here here we go we've got the timeline view options so we can change these around that one has just taken the the waves of the audio out so i say i usually keep that one you've got the video view options so that's more so where we have this one here so as we drag our timeline we can see and you can see there that you know i'm moving around whereas if we can change that timeline to that and then it's basically just a thumbnail and you don't see it um, not particularly useful i don't think and then you can take the whole thing off so again i would recommend we keep that same with audio view i would keep the the waveform because 
that's where we like to see it. And if you're struggling to see what you're seeing, we can make the video larger, so we can make the height up and down, uh, and indeed the audio as well. So, uh, so that's all cool. And that you can do that for every single, every single track. So that's just in in that uh, in that first one. So you just switch that off. There you go. Just click somewhere, and that will come off. Uh, what else can I show you here? Um, so yeah, so in the timeline here, we've uh, we can just play. We can play backwards. We can jump back to the previous cut. All those great things. We can have it on the loop. We can mark things in and out. So if I was going to here, so I've got this is our review screen here. So I popped our video into the review. That's now sitting there. So that's not on the timeline. But maybe I don't want all of that that's in the in the review. So what I can do is I can select along this little timeline here. So that's where we are now in that review. And by I just want a little bit, I can go I for in, O for out, really simple. And then what that does is that can either, we've got the option, we can either drag now just that little element of that clip. We can either drag it in purely with the video file or purely with the audio file or if we drag it all in we can just drag it both so to show you so that's now just a little clip that's buffed by dragging dragging it in and again they're still locked that's good um or we can just drag in the video or we can just drag in the audio so you can play around with that and they are not linked so there's so much we can do. Absolutely, you can zoom in, zoom out. So, so that's good. So this is just the first little lesson of DaVinci Resolve. Uh, do let me know in the comments. I always watch the comments back. If you're watching on replay, just hashtag replay. Pop your comments in. Any questions, then we can cover them. And I can cover them going forwards. Um, so until tomorrow, let's hide that. Have an amazing day. Uh, and so, oh, and I said I'm using Be Live. Now, the brilliant thing about using BeLive is that I can do this. It's got this amazing live sales feature. Um, and so we have, uh, where is it gone? It's in that one I can select one. So I can just pop in on screen the BeLive free trial. So that's a link to a free trial for BeLive. Um, but if you also, I can drop this in. I think I've got this on a, on a earn and learn. I got. Uh, I can also. Mm -mm -mm. No, don't want that one. So what's happened there is the link to the free trial has been dropped into the comments. So that's in. If you're watching on YouTube, that comment's gone in on YouTube. It's gone in on uh, on the Facebook page. So that's really cool. And we're gonna put in. Where's my? I'm trying to find my code. But basically, um, yeah, you want a. Oh, I know, I can do it on branding. Uh, we can change the themes, we've got overlays. So I think I've got an overlay with a code, yeah. So hide that now. Um, and if you like BeLive, then the promo code Nick Dashwood gives you 30% off, um, which is cool. So, uh, so that's really neat. If you like that, you can try it. If you like it, 30% off. And that doesn't matter whether it's the annual fee or indeed the, uh, the monthly fee. So that's really cool. Tomorrow, I'll be adding on a little bit about TubeBuddy as well. We've got lots of trainings. If you're watching on YouTube, we've got lots of trainings in the description. So uh, go have a look at those affiliate, affiliate programs, um, free trainings, all sorts. 